again and today people today we're for episode number 10 of our pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon let's play in the last episode you guys we took on kahuna I kahuna kahuna island we took on kahuna hala in our first grand trial i was gonna say our first island trial whatever we took on kahuna hala in our first grand trial and things got interesting so if you missed all that definitely make sure you go back and check it out but in today's episode we have an hour of power to get as much done as we can of course if you guys don't know every 10th episode in this let's play will be an hour of power so episode 1 was an hour episode 10 right now will be an hour episode 20 will be an hour episode 30 will be an hour however many fucking episodes we got every 10th episode will be an hour of power so if you guys are hyped for some more ultra sun and ultra moon and of course if you're a proud member of the happy nation make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated and of course don't forget never forget can't nobody let's play a game like the motherfucking nappy nation can god damn it let's get a quick update on the squad which should be changing up in today's episode we have radshot our starter pokemon our tour cat level 20 rock and ember double kick fire fang and work up holding the roto boost and then we have pk sparks our magnemite level 17 uh rock and thundershock magnet bomb thunder wave and sonic boom holding the roto boost as well so we just unlocked the ride the ride pager toros but what i want to do real quick before we move anywhere else i want to see if i can run up in Kahuna Hala's place here because your boy is on a mission we are on a mission to get all of the totem stickers and I have a sneaking suspicion that in a big ass place like this there should be a totem sticker around here somewhere dog oh boy can I sit here it's a chair made up using traditional folk craft passed down to Lola since days of old lady titty dog there's only one door over here there's two on the other side. There's gotta be. I know there was a there was a Zygarde thing in here before. There was a Zygarde thing in here before. A Zygarde, what you call it? Ha ha. Ha ha. Hmm hmm. I don't give a fuck about their family problems, Doug. I'm looking for some totem stickers, Doug. I'm looking for some totem stickers, Doug. I know y'all are hiding some in here. Why do they even let you do that? Why do they even let you walk all the way back there? Are you hiding something, Game Freak? Are you hiding something way back there, dog? I will be flabbergasted if there's puke and mucus in the toilet. What the fuck, dog? Luck, luck. That's not creepy. Huh. I will truly be flabbergasted. If there are no totem stickers in Kahuna Hala's big hut. There's a Drompa! I know you just saw that Drompa back there. I know you guys just saw that Drompa back there. Alola, I love to see kids in Pokemon full of energy. Oh, you get to play with a Slowpoke? Look at this Slowpoke, dog. Look at this slowpoke dog. <laughs> Bro. Bro. What's the point in this? I still don't understand. Why did they... They, they couldn't do anything with Zygarde, but they coded this in the game. What's the point in playing with these Pokemon? What do you get from it? I feel like if you sat here long enough, you could get something out of it. And there actually is no stamp in here. Or no, uh, whatchamacallit. Okay, so I saw that drop it back there. So does that mean if I go over here, I'll see the drop on this side of the house? There's no drop a dog. There's no Drompa, and there's no totem sticker in this house either, which is kind of unbelievable. 
I'm not going to lie. It's kind of unbelievable that there's no totem sticker in this house. This big old area of the game for you to get nothing from it. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait. It's not a Drompa. It was an Alolan Executor. My bad. See, that's what I saw. And I thought it was a Drompa tail. It's a Alolan Executor. Lady Titty, dog. That bitch is huge, dog. Like, I knew he was big to begin with, but that bitch is huge, dog. That bitch is huge. Okay, so we don't get any uh, totem sticker there, but we do know of one totem sticker that is available to us right now. To us right now. And ladies and gentlemen, it was the first one we found. Gimme this, boy. Gimme this. Yeah! We got 16 totem stickers, bro. 16 of them bad bitches. 16 of them bad bitches, dog. Wait. Shit changed. These little niggas weren't here before. Island challenge with your rock rough? Your rock rough looks weak. Your rock rough, rock, rock rough looks weak, dog. I think you should hold off on that challenge. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, the next thing in an order of business today, I'm trying to make sure I remember everything. We need to bust open these rocks. And PK is about to help us find his replacement, dog. Now, I know over here in Pokemon Sun, you can find a Munchlax if you're running with the Tauros. But we're not necessarily looking for a Munchlax. Fuck, I want that item. What we are looking for, however, is a Pichu. You find Pichu down here. I don't know if you need to be on the Tauros or not. Nah. Or not. Nah. That nugget actually might come in handy, dog. Boy, I was going to say, is there grass down here? Can we get a Pichu? Survey says... That's a rock rough, dog. That's a rock rough, dog. That's not a Pichu. That's not a Pichu. I actually need to swap. I actually do 100% need to swap. Because PK will help us catch his replacement. Because... Because, 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 because... Because... He's got Sonic Boom. Even though I can't paralyze the Pichu, PK at least has Sonic Boom. So, that'll work out well for us. I just want to see how far down. Yeah, so now we got to go back up. Okay, so I'm going to go back up and actually walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Walk 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 up. Okay, so I'm going to walk around here and see if we can't get a Pichu. I'm pretty sure this is where you need to find him. Um, aside from 10 Carat Hill, I don't think there's any other place that we need Tauros for. You can get a Bonsley here. I don't think there's any other place that we need Tauros for on the island since the one area um, in Seaside Cave is already opened up. So I think after this, we're going to go down and talk to our mom, head down to Ten Carat Hill and catch a Sableye because that's a part of one of our side quests. And then we're going to head to Haley City. Look, there's a Munchlax. So you don't need to be running on... You don't need to be running on... Um, Toros to catch it. I think that just the chances of him appearing are higher if you're running around on a Taurus. I think I'm gonna catch this little nigga just not because I'm gonna use a Snorlax on my team or anything, it's just I don't wanna catch this little nigga. Look at him. He's cool. He's cool though, dog. He's cool. I don't know why I'm so OCD like that. Like, I know good and well that I could just swap mods out as I go. I'm doing it with PK right now. But it's just like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So aside from this Pichu, I think the next Mon that's going to join our squad, he's got leftovers. Yes, I'm catching him. Yes, I'm 100% catching him. I think this is actually how you do get leftovers in Sunday. You might be able to buy it at like the Battle Tree or something like that afterwards. I don't know. 100%. I think another Sonic Boom will kill him from here. I think once he gets another turn of leftovers though, I think we can Sonic Boom him again. If we don't catch him right now. Boy, I'm going to catch this boy in a luxury ball. I'm gonna catch this born a luxury ball. He deserve it. You deserve it. No, you burnt it. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. My dude. Why are you playing these games with me? Why are you playing these games? Why? I just wanna catch you because you're cool as shit, dog. And I need I need to get them leftovers up off of you, boy. I need to get them leftovers up off of you, boy. I don't think a Sonic Boom will kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Alright. So, I can give leftovers to...
Bradshaw. And then I'll give this Soothe Bell that I got last episode to the Pichu when we catch it. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. How? How? We are paralyzed and in the red. We are paralyzed and in the red. How do you break out? I don't understand. Here, have a fucking great ball then, dog. I'm trying to do something nice for you and catch you in a goddamn luxury ball. I'm trying to do something nice for you. And you don't want it! Fine. Fine. You don't want the help? You don't want the assistance? I ain't gonna give it to you, dog. I ain't gonna give it to you. I just want the goddamn leftovers, bro. I just want the goddamn leftovers, bro. I wouldn't be against, like, now that I'm thinking about it, like I said, I'm super OCD about it. I wouldn't be against having Munchlax on the squad just for GP, like until I find something else, if it was another baby Pokemon. Because raising one baby Pokemon and getting it to evolve via friendship is hard enough. You know, I'm not trying to do that for Munchlax and Pichu. So, I'm going to name my boy appropriately. It's Young Master Westicles in the bitch. In the bitch. In this bitch. Alright, so I'm going to double check my Pokedex right now. Before I waste any more time here. Before I waste any more time here. And let's see here. Let's see here. My young Pichu. Is to the right of where I'm at. So is it even here? Or is it right here? Or is it in that patch of grass that's straight to the north? I thought that was too far up. Cause that's a fucking Boonary, dog. I just wanna catch a Pichu, dog! I just wanna catch a Pichu. I'm determined to get a goddamn Pichu. Let me see. Let me see. Open up my melee melee decks. Okay, so it is in this patch of grass. So I've been waiting this whole time for nothing. I ran over here before and I could swear it wasn't here. Unless, unless, it's on the other side of the route and that patch of grass is right here. Because this is the fucking Young Goose, dog. This is the fucking Young Goose, dog. This ain't no goddamn Pichu. Ain't no Pichu. I ain't looking at no Pichu. Now, I can understand it being the rare encounter on the route, but still, like, come on, dog. Come on, dog. How do you catch a Pichu in Pokemon Sun and Moon? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Because I'm not trying to be here all day, number one. We got plenty of stuff to do. I'm not trying to be here, number one. Yeah, you see, in uh, Sun and Moon, it's in Haley City. Hmm. I got questions. I got questions that need answering. I got questions that need answering. That's a fucking Boonary, dog. That's a Boonary. That's a Boonary if I ever seen one. I don't fucking know. I'm not trying to waste all today's episode looking for this, if it is the rare encounter. But I know if I continue, I'm going to leave this island. So that means I have to come back off screen and come catch this Pichu. I want to use a goddamn Pichu. Okay, I'm going to use a goddamn Pichu. I was thinking of this patch of grass. I think it's just Route 1 in general. It doesn't have to be a particular patch of grass. Cause I'm pretty sure I remember that other patch of grass that's outside Icky Town and Sun and Moon you could find Pichus up there. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Okay, I'm gonna give it a couple more encounters before we move on and do something else. But I wanna at least try. I wanna at least try. I wanna put a good foot forward, a good effort forward. It's the same Bonsi, dog. It's the same Bonsi, dog. What are you doing? What are you doing, dog? I'm not trying to catch you, boy. I'm not trying to catch you, Doug. 100% not trying to catch you, bro. I'm trying to find my boy! My Pichu and add him to the squad, Doug. Add his ass to the squad, bro. That's not it. That's not it, Doug. I thought you could only get Rock Ruff on 10 Carat Hill. 
What's happening now? Why is Rockruff able to be found over here? But you can only get it in 10 carat hill. Alright, so I tried this grass. I tried the, the other one on Route 1. I tried this patch of grass on Route 1. I'm gonna go up here and try this other patch of grass and see what I can find. Because I, I remember in Sun and Moon, I'm pretty sure I found a Pichu here before. Frig off, Moonary. Frig off. You're not welcome. Nobody's interested, though. No one's interested, though. I'm just trying to find my motherfucking Pichu, Doug. That's the only one I'm looking for. It's a motherfucking Pichu, Doug. You know, every time that grass rolls over, I get so excited. I get so excited, ready to see what's gonna be in here. And this fucking Buneri shows up. And I don't want the goddamn Buneri. I don't want it! Here, get off the, get off the, get off, get off. Get off your high horse, Nappy. So I'm pretty sure, what is it? Is it Grubbin and Pichu are the rare encounters? I think Munchlax is the rare encounter in that area. Dog. Dog! Dog! Why? Alright, I'm gonna give it three more tries. I'm gonna give it three more tries, and then we're just doing it off screen. Three more tries, and then we're just doing it off screen. Help me help you, dog. This is like Marini all over again. From Sun and Moon, I wanted to use a Marini so bad, I had to go off screen to find it. Lunary? You're messing with me, dog, and I don't like it. I don't like it. That's one. That's one encounter. Come on, dog. I'm giving you the chance right now. That's a Caterpie. That's two. That's two. I'm giving you this chance right now, dog. Right now, dog. And our third and final encounter on this route. Is it a Pichu? I swear to God, it's a fucking Buneri. Wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be right now. For the episode. I have to do it some other time. Ooh, I have to do it some other time, dog. Because this Pichu just don't want to show. I don't know if it's like a certain time of day or a certain thing to do or whatever. Maybe you can only find it at night. Who knows? But all I know is... At <sighs> Alright, I'm done trying. I said I was going to do three and I ended up doing five. Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. I keep running around the bush. <laughs> I keep running around the bush. Stop. 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 Alright, Pichu. I will come back and snag you some other time, dog. You want to be angsty and all messed up like this, then fine. You do it on your own time, dog. Alright, Mom. You can hear the Tauros' feet slamming towards your front door, dog. I gotta go tell her that I'm peacing the fuck out. I'm out this bitch. You're doing great, Nappy. You cleared the Melee Melee Grand Trial, right? Oh yeah, and did you check out 10 Carat Hill near the Pokemon Research Lab? Heard there are rare Pokemon there. Have you been having a good time? You look a bit tired, but happy. Take a little break before you head out on the Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Thanks. Take a Pokeball too, sweetie. Hope you encounter someone special today. She's taunting me, dog. She's literally taunting me. She's taunting me regarding not being able to catch the Pichu. I came back in here because I thought that this was a gold sticker. Totem, totem sticker. Alright, alright, alright. Just making sure. Making sure there ain't no stickers around here that I'm missing out on. I wouldn't be surprised if Lima slapped a sticker on my house. Just making sure, double checking. Double, quadruple, triple checking. Okay, so our next stop is actually 10 Carat Hill. What up, kneecaps? 
It actually is, in fact, Tank Garrett Hill. And we got a date with a Sableye. Which, I don't know if you could actually find... Yeah, 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 no, I remember specifically tweeting out about this. Having trouble finding Sableye in here. When I played through Sun and Moon. Because when I play through Sun and Moon, every time a new generation comes out, I'm like bound and determined to fill the Pokedex. And I remember trying to find Sableye in here. I know you can find Sableye in here. So we need to find ourselves a goddamn, a gosh darn Sableye. Because the last thing I do, we're going to find ourselves a Sableye. So, knock knock, nigga. Open up. I'm looking for a goddamn Sableye to fill my cup. And I know you can find it in here. Because the Sableye hunt the Carbink. Because the Carbink have jewels on them. The Sableye steal the carving jewels. There's Mawile in here. Now there's a Mawile. I know there's a Sableye. Don't tell me Mawile's son is using Sableye's moon. I can see them doing some silly shit like that. Because wasn't that how Ruby and Sapphire was? One had Mawile and one had Sableye. But then why would he ask me specifically for a Sableye? The challenge dude asked me specifically, or the 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 request guy asked me specifically for a Sableye. So like, I'm confuzzled. Why would he ask me for a mod from a different game? See, there's the carving. Or no, wait, 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 wait. Actually, I think it might be carving calls for Sableye. Let me double check. Let me double check. Yeah, you have to get a car bank to call for Sableye. Dog, I'm such a genius, dog. I'm such a genius, dog. Okay, so I'm just gonna sonic boom this hoe. So you have to get the car bank to call for the Sableye. Because the Sableye will wanna like munch and crunch on his fucking jewels. The Sableye will actually attack the car bank. Like, he'll call for help. Yo. In a perfect world! Dog, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life, dog? I can't do anything but swap bonds at this point. I need you to call. I need you to call again, dog. I need you to call again, dog. That's fine, though. That's 100% okay. That's okay. You do what you must, dog. You do what you must. I'm just gonna keep doing my thing right here. I just need to call for a freaking Sableye. See, y'all learn something new every day. Didn't know that Carbank calls for Sableye. Yeah, just call, bro. Just call. I just need you to call, dog. Actually, yo, wait, peep. Peep, 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 peep. Wait, do I have one? I don't. I was gonna say, do I have an Adrenaline Orb? I don't even think I've been introduced to Adrenaline Orbs yet. I don't know what the fuck else I'm supposed to do. If he goes for a Harden again, maybe I can go... Maybe I can go for an Ember? I know Harden has nothing to do with that. I'm talking about right now. Maybe I can go for an Ember. I won't kill him. That's too hardened. If he had like three or four, then maybe I could Fire Fang him and it wouldn't kill him. Doug, don't let this Ember kill you. Yeah, boy. It'd be better if I had a super effective move to use against him. Like, if I could have magnet bombed him. But if I would have magnet bombed him, the boy would have died. 100%. Okay, you're in the red. Call, dog. You need to call for help. It's wise of you to call for help, dog. It's wise of you to call for help, bro. Stop hardening and call for help. I can't thunder wave him either. If I thunder wave him, there it is. In a perfect world! Hey, 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 hey. That's who I want. That's who I want. Hey, hey. That's who I want. That's who I want. Hey, hey. That's who I want. That's who I want. That's who I want. And he's attacking the carving. It's just like when you use Corsola to call for Marini. The Marini attacks the Corsola. Yeah, boy, you've been baited, bruh. You've been catfish, nigga. You've been catfish, nigga. 
We come for you, nigga. Hey, you know what? I don't mind. As a Let's player, I know some people just want to see progress and do this and that and hurry up through the game. And I don't want to sit and watch you catch mods. But as a Let's player, I feel like it's cool and okay from time to time to break it all up, do something fun, do something off the beaten path. I like it. I like it. I know I'm taking time off. We should just rush down to Haley City and do this and that and yada yada yada. But no, 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 no. I want you to know right now, if he would have called for another car bank, I would have magnet bombed the car bank and given it one more chance. Because if you use a super effective move on the mod next to it, it's more likely to call for help. So, well, we got our save light no matter what. So I can go back and speak to this guy. And that is another side quest completed. And actually, I don't even feel bad about that because. It is a side quest in the game. And we are let's playing the game. So, mm, how's that make you feel? Bitch. Bitch. So we caught a Sableye. What do I call Sableye? You know what, I think I'm gonna call him. I would call him Santana, but then I feel like everyone would think it's Santana instead of Joel Santana. So I'm gonna call him Joel because it's like jewels. And he's got jewels all on his body. All on my body. All over my body. So perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we're knocking him off one at a time. So, we try to we got the totem stickers. That's cool. We try to get the Pichu, couldn't do it yet. Wen spoke to mom already. That's good. Wen got the Sableye. And we're exploring 10 Carrot Hill at the same time. And they changed it. It's the Flyanium Z. I thought you needed um 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 to get the Flyanium Z. Oh, what? The glistening Flyanium Z. It's yours now. Watch as I show you my dance. Supersonic Sky Strike is a devastating blow from the open sky. Use it well. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. So, from the leaks that I heard, you guys remember we did a leaks video. From the leaks video, I heard that Kahili, that's who that is. If you played Sun Moon, you know who that is. That's Kahili. She was an Elite Four member. That she'd been replaced by Molane. So now she just shows up when you go and get the Flying EMZ. Which, to be fair, it was always so fucking random that the Flying EMZ was just chilling there to begin with. It was all so fucking random. Like, she just didn't do anything for it. It was just sitting there. So I guess it's kind of cool that she shows up, but still I wish it was a little bit different. I don't, I don't know why is the fighting scene ten carat hill. I don't understand. I don't understand. I have so many questions. She just shows up and disappears. So I'm guessing we have to see her at some other point in the battle. I mean, some other point in the battle, some other point in the game. She has to show up again. We have to have a chance to battle her. Dog, I have so many questions. My head hurts. I'm puzzled. I'm puzzled. To say the very least. Huh. 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 Hmm. Okay. So, I'm gonna run through Tank Yard here real quick. I'm pretty sure there's a TM in here. If I remember from my Shiny Moon days, back in the day. With sun and moon, that's what was here. So there's no item. Ah, fuck you! There's no item or anything over here. But I'm pretty sure there's a TM up on the ledge, up here, or something, something or other, something or other. I don't think you can find rock rock on Route One in Sun and Moon. That's what I was talking about earlier. It just always seems so odd to me. It always seems so odd to me that you could. We'll see. Excuse me, Miss Bitch. 
burn heal. Just randomly. Okay. Uh! God damn it. God damn it. Gosh darn it. Come on, Rock Ruff. Give me a break, dog. I got places to go, people to see things to do. Photos to take, dog. Photographs to take. <sighs> and once we get to Haley City, we still gotta turn in that other side quest for a homeboy. Ooh. Smackdown. Which you can teach the rock rough that you catch in 10 Carat Hill. Uh huh. Okay. Interesting enough. I wonder if there's any new mods they put in 10 Carat Hill. Like how there's an NK. This Machop. My boy's ready to go. There's an NK uh, outside Kakui's lab. There's Noibat and Verdant Cavern. I wonder if they added anybody else. I know Dano was a part of the island scan for Sun and Moon. For Ten Carat Hill and Sun and Moon. Huh. Okay, let's get the frick out of here, Doug. Let's get the frick out of here. We caught Sableye. That's what we needed to do. Oh my goodness! So many wild mons, Doug. Just let me go. Just let me go. Wild mods never pop up when you need them. They only ever pop up when you're trying to get somewhere. When you're trying to do something. When you're trying to get away. When you're trying to get away. Um, bro. Fuck! I had just the just the slightest amount of hope. <laughs> just the slightest amount of hope that it was gonna happen. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so... I think... After today's episode, I keep thinking about all the side quests we have. I keep glancing at my notepad, too. After today, I think we have just two side quests left. One is the swimmer at night, which we can't do just yet. And the other... is... Catching the crab brawler. Which we can't do just yet, either, because he's only found under the berries. And we already found all the berries, so we gotta wait for them to respawn. What up, dog? Oh, you caught a sable eye. Let me see your decks for a second. Mm-hmm, I see. Its eyes turn to jewels. Is it eight jewels? What? Does that mean sable eye eat carbink? Ha ha ha. It can't be. All right, thanks for this, pal. Now I'll go try and catch one for myself. Here, it's not much, but your pay. You've earned it. Ballin'! All right, now it's time to set up and find a sable of my own for my beautiful bride. Lady Titty. Lady Titty. $3,000 for catching a Pokemon, dog. Whoa. Three laps. Three Gs for catching a Pokemon. Don't mind if I do. That's uh, that's uh, extra, what? Four Super Potions? <laughs> extra four Super Potions? They should honestly pay you more for that. They really should, because it's like... I could just go and do a Pokemon battle with an Omelette coin and get... 17 grand. That's all I get for doing that? It's just three Gs? Alright, bro. Oh, but... Uh, oh, look at you already. You already caught more than 10 species of Pokemon. Then show me. Oh, yes. This is perfect. This is all the data I need. Thank you. Here, why don't you take this? Hello, thank you for helping me out. Shit. I'm saving $3,000 by him giving me 10 fucking Ultra Balls. Alright, we can cross his little bitch ass off. Alright, so all we got is the sights here. Who's looking for a crab brawler at the Verdant Cabin Pokemon Center? I'm really grateful for your assistance, my sensible young trainer. I look forward to seeing what a promising young go-getter like yourself gets up to. About to be the champion, bitch. So we got the Sightseer in the Verdant Cavern Pokemon Center who's looking for a crab brawler. And then the Kalai Bay Swimmer at Night. Those are the only ones that are left. The shopping mall is now open. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna resist going in there and balling out. Balling out. I don't understand. I ball pretty hard. Pretty freaking hard. Okay, so give me this held item you got, dog. Let me snack that. Hasty as well. Snag that leftovers from you, boy. And I'm still... I just, I just want my Pichu. Pichu P. I just want my Pichu, dog. Alright, let's see what's moving and shaking up here. After this, we're going to head to the Alola Photo Club. What's poppin', big dog? Welcome to the mall. 
Our wide variety of goods and services will astound you. Please enjoy your full, full of our full service mall. I got lost. How, Doug? Now, if I remember correctly, this place was straight baller status. And, like, everything in here was like 70 G's for a backpack or some shit. Is it actually still the same way? Welcome. 49,000! Jesus Christ. Pinstripe collared shirt. Ooh, that is fire, though. Kamo'o breastplate. Dog. Dog. What is this? What in the actual fuck is this, dog? Komo'o tacits? Dog. What is this? What is this? Komo'o tacits. Komo'o greaves. Bro. Bro, I want you all to know, you better fucking believe it. When I tell you that I am going to be dressed like a Komo'o before this playthrough is done. I don't care what I need to do. I do not care what I must do. I am going to be dressed like a fucking Komo'o before this playthrough is done. 100%. There's a fucking Komo'o helmet, dog. Dog. I'm not even mad I came in here. I'm not even mad I came in here, dog. How much is it? It's 500k. That's a mil. 1.4. 1.8. 1.8. 2.4 to dress like a Komo'o. Dog, you better fucking believe it! I got the Gracidia flower. Or, my bad, the Gracidia. <sighs> Dog. Dog. All I'm telling you is before this playthrough is done, you had better fucking believe your boy will be balling out as a Komo'o, dog. As a Komo'o. What's really interesting to me is that this place is open now, because I'm pretty sure in Sun and Moon it was all post-game. A battle combo move. No, dog. I think she teaches you the pledge moves. Ultimate moves. You know what? Sure, dog. I'm modest nature. <laughs> Once I get an incinerator, we can teach him fucking what you call it. It's the battle buffet, dog. I remember in Sun. Whoa. What a terrifying restaurant. Hey, you. If you're looking for an elegant dining experience, let me tell you, this is the wrong place. Hello and welcome to the Battle Buffet. We can offer you all you can eat buffet here and delicious stuff and lots of it. Chow down to your heart's content. However, our shop is frequented by a lot of Pokemon trainers. If you want another one of our painters have a dispute over some food, you can settle it with a Pokemon battle. Whether or not you leave here satisfied depends on the strength of your Pokemon. That's what the Battle Buffet is all about. How can I help you today? Come back later, dog. I'm not falling for this trap again. I tried to, to fight the Battle Buffet Queen in our Pokemon Sun LP, and it's like random. She shows up randomly. A ride Pokemon campaign is going on right now. Would you like to see a little ride show? Yeah! Exciting and thrilling, we will show you the exhilarating ride life. Alola Tourist Bureau presents the Alola Ride Show. It starts now. The first entry is a wild bull Pokemon Tauros. Look at my big dude. Look at my big dude. Flash, flash. Or was it after the Kahuna? I don't know. Who knows? Tauros is 4'7 and weighs 194.9 pounds. Its athletic and well built body is strong enough to break even rocks. Tauros has gained overwhelming popularity among riders with wild spirits. Flash, flash. Would you like to keep watching the show? Absolutely, dog. Next Pokemon is the Draft Horse Pokemon Mudsdale. Hmm. Look at this big boy right here. 
Look at this big boy right here. Cloppity clop. Mudsdale is 8'2 and weighs 2,028.3 pounds. That's a well built stage. It's wild and forceful gallop will let you go through rocky and rough paths. Rough and rocky paths. Tough riders are thrilled with Mudsdale's powerful gallop. Flash, flash. Let's keep going, dog. Today's last entry is the Super Power Pokemon. My boy! Machamp! My boy. Everyone, take your pictures. Yeah, my boy, get swole. Get swole, my boy. Get swole. Yeah. Look at him. Machamp is 5'3 and weighs 286.6 pounds. If you are 300 pounds of straight muscle, you are fucking strong. You are strong. I do not care. 300 pounds of straight, cut, lean muscle, you are strong. There's not an ounce of fat on Machamp's body. It's warm and gentle run pushes obstacles away without any problems. The ride gives the best time to riders who want to feel the warmness of Pokemon. Because he holds you right on his bosom. On those big old pectorals, dog. <laughs> what the fuck, dog? What the actual? That concludes the Alolan Ride Show. Please contact Alola Transit for your ride Pokemon needs. Dog. Thank you. There are giveaways for you. It's a limited time during offer during our campaign. Fuck it. You gave me the great balls, Doug. Thank you. We hope to look forward to your continued patronage of Ride Pokemon in the future. Homegirl straight dipped. What in the freak? Ha uh ha. -huh. His best song is the Parish song. You're trying to kill everyone, dog. I want you on my team! I'll fucking steal him, dog. Steal that goddamn Pikachu. That's the last thing I do. Hey, under this post, there's nothing. Of course, there's no switch, silly. Oh, yeah? Is where Team Rainbow Rocket's hiding? Why is she still looking for more souvenirs? Look, there's just Pokemon can only learn four moves at a time, right? Then they can only carry one at a time, too. Hmm. Hmm. All right! Let's not forget. Let us not forget that we have a fucking fucks fuck to do there, dog. Okay? So before I head to the Alola Photo Club, since that is where we're supposed to go next, I'm gonna slide up here. Because I got unfinished business. We were told. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, actually. Got ourselves a star piece, dog. We got a bank to be made. We were told that if we beat the Kahuna, and if we came up here, we could be given a chance to ride on the back of a Mantine. Meet lots of different Pokemon in your journey. That's how we became friends with Mantine here. Back in the days, my own island challenge. Don't do this to me. What is going on here? What is going on here? She told me to beat the Kahuna. I've been had. I've been lied to. I've been bamboozled. I swear to God, if I go back and complete this objective, and this hoe then tells me That I can go and ride this Mantine. Boy, I ain't never been excited for a Mantine in my goddamn life. And now you fucking with me. Yeah, go go. Alright, dog. Knock knock. Game Freak Pokemon Company was talking all the big shit about this before the game came out. Oh, hello, trainer. Looks like you've got a Z Power Ring. Oh. Oh. All the ladies pop your pussy like this. All the girls pop your pussy like this. Ladies go pop your pussy like this. All the girls pop your pussy like... Let me stop. Here at the Alola Photo Club, you can take photos with your favorite Pokemon as you strike your favorite poses. You should definitely give it a try. After all, you came this far already. You make it seem like it's such a... important tradition or custom or something. What the fuck? Let's prepare your photo shoot. What? what? I'm sorry, PK, but I gotta go with my starter, dog. Yeah. Facing forward. Yeah, let's face each other, dog. Yeah. Let's start this photo shoot, dog. To take awesome shots, have your Pokemon take different actions and capture a cool pose. Flip this switch and your Pokemon will perform the actions it uses in battle or when playing cutely with you. 
Tap this Pokemon call button and you can ask your Pokemon to perform another action. Tap the button many times to see what kinds of actions your Pokemon might take. Press the action button here to choose what kind of action you'll take during the photo shoot. Tap the play button and you'll perform that action. Tap it again to pause in the middle of your action to capture a great pose. Select the tab on the left to change controls. Tap in the top tab to display controls for taking action and choosing photo shoots. Tap in the top bottom to set. I don't. Um. Uh. Oh, this is me. Oh, this is me doing my Z move. Okay, so I'm gonna do fighting. Uh. Try this again. No, but that's not what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to do fighting. I wanted you to do fighting. Okay, so if I click play. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I just exit? Oh, I like your photo. I'll give you a little something special so you can check out photos anytime too. Open up your photo album from the X menu. You can just... Once you open your photo album, you can decorate your photos with stickers and more. Add some pizzazz to really make them shine. If you choose to share your jazzed up photos from your photo album, then everyone who comes to your fucking festival plaza can see them too. As you visit more places, Rotom will help you out capture more backgrounds that you can use whenever you're taking photos too. Definitely come to take more photos as you explore the islands in your island challenge. You're originally from the Kanto region, right? I traveled around tons of different regions, so I can easily tell something like that. Not just for people either, I can tell which Pokemon region your Pokemon came from. Dude, you want me to take a look and tell you if you're any of your Pokemon from other regions? Sure. Let me see. No, it doesn't look like you have any Pokemon that are from different regions. Come ask me anytime you like to check to see whether they have Pokemon are from other regions. I can put the cutie or Comfey here. Okay, so. I'm not one to judge. Um, I'm not gonna put it down because it's a new game. Uh, I'm gonna say it's just not for me. Like, when we did the trailer reviews and I saw what the Alolan Photo Club was, uh, my reaction then is still the same now. It, like I said, it's, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. I... I don't play Pokemon for this particular reason. So, what the fuck? It's a giant green room. Yo, I can change my context here. Hold up! Black dog. Yeah, boy. 
matches my clothes. I actually have brown eyes, but that'll work. Um, it's just, like I said, it's just not... You know what? I'll, you know, I'll go the extra mile. See, just so you can't say that I have it. Just so you can't say that I have it. I'm gonna go the extra mile, and I'm gonna... I... I... I guess I don't have any photos saved. Alright. Never mind. I... I... Hey! Hey! If you enjoy it, more power to you. It's a new feature. I hope you rock out with it. Tweet me. Tweet me. 100% tweet me your pizzazzed out photos. Fuck a festival plaza. We use the, the IRL festival plaza known as Twitter. Tweet me your tricked out fucking photos of you and your starter and whatnot. I'll retweet the best ones I find. G shit, not playing any games. Tweet them to me. But for me to actually do it, Here die you all not be. This boy got a dart tricks now. Oh boy. That's actually nice customization because it started with change. So I actually like that he did that. I bet you and Magnum I got a real great shot together at the photo club, right? Now it's time for our next stop. A color island, here we come. You're not taking a photo? Man, once I get started with all the poses and the stickers and things, I can't help, I can't stop myself. I spent ages making sure Dartrix is looking awesome, so I should hold off on taking any photos of my own for now. Wouldn't you want to leave you bored and hanging? My boy is clean over there, I see you. Just think, I wonder what kind of trials we'll face next. Kakashi, good timing, Navi and Hal. I just got the old girl ready to sail. Oh yeah! So about that professor, I was thinking that I'd really like to head to Akala Island with Mantine. And I want to see Nebby take a shot at Mantine surfing too. About the boat? Oh come! Oh come on! I really want to ride on a Mantine, don't ya? And I'm not totally just saying that because the professor's boat is such a junk heap either. Kakashi, right. Well, Al, it's all up to you. The island challenge is all about journeying together with Pokemon after all. Yeah, so I'll see you on a color island, Professor. Nabi, if we want to go together, I'll be at Route 2's Big Wave Beach. Um, I was hoping to ask a favor of you, Nabi, if that's alright. Sure. You see, Nabi is... Its real home is far away from here, and I want to help it get home. It's like I told you before, Nebby saved my life once when I was in trouble. Now I want to save it. I feel like there's not much I can do on my own since I'm not a Pokemon trainer. But if I had a real trainer like you helping me, Nappy, then maybe. But I probably shouldn't ask a near stranger to help, right? I know it's just my own wish and it has nothing to do with you. Of course I'll help. Silver lining. Positivity. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I really didn't know what else to do. Then I suppose the two of us will get to see one another on a Kala Island next to... Lit. So we now we need to go to Big Wave Beach. I was jumping the gun, ready to head to Big Wave Beach on my own. So there ain't shit at the. I was gonna say. They're not gonna take the boat. They got their boat all juiced up, ready to go, and they're not gonna take their own boat, dog. That seems kind of fuckity fucked. So the next island is too far away to see with the naked eye. I don't think I ever came in here either. Dog, knock knock. So the, the region's actually that big. You can't even see the next island with your own eye. That's kind of spooky. Uh, what? Oh, you have a Z power ring. Maybe you can fix the vending machine. Haha, <laughs> that's so stupid, right? I know the two have nothing to do with each other. Wait, is that one of those rare Rotom Dexes? Does it have the Pokemon Rotom inside it? Uh, you called? It does! Hey, hey, do you think you could ask Rotom to help? Uh, you think you can fix it? Sure I can! Rotom zipped into the vending machine faster than your eyes could even follow. Z -z -z oh, interesting. Seems like it doesn't actually change forms when it's in a vending machine. You know a lot about Rotom, huh? Oh, you see, I was actually a bit involved in making the parts for the Pokefinder zoom function. All done! Oh, it looks like it's done. Do you think it worked? Do you think Rotom fixed it? I'll press the button for a fresh water and... 
Oh, it's not cold. But it's still thanks to Rotom, so here, you take it. Nobody wants a warm water. The fuck? But this experience really makes you think that Rotom holds far greater potential than we ever dreamed of before. Almost limitless potential. It's already become a Pokedex here in Alola. I wonder what it might zip right into next. Maybe a PC box? Ha. Huh. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. They're they're foreshadowing Gen 8, dog. They're foreshadowing Gen 8, dog. Craziness. Just look, they aren't for sale. Why are you even here, dog? What are you doing? What's this ship gonna be for? We're gonna go to Kanto on this ship? Hmm? Hmm? We going to Kanto on this here ship? Huh. Well, looks like Mantine Surf is in fact our next destination. Even though I wanted to do that earlier. But I think what we're gonna do for right now is wrap up today's episode right here. And in the next episode, we should have a Pichu on our team. This is, this is literally perfect. This is perfect. So I haven't left the island yet. I can go back and finish the last two quests. We could actually do the next episode at night so that we could start the next episode and see what that dude, that swimmer wants. And then head over to, whatchamacallit, and Mantine Surf to the next island. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, hold on, I think I have, did I drop the save line off already? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, and of course, we want to show you support as a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And of course, don't ever forget, never forget, can't nobody let's play a game with the motherfucking Nappy Nation can. We will catch you guys next time. Until then, thank you all so much for the support, and thank you for checking the video. We are Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!